Hi, friends. <laughs> Sorry, I was eating peanuts. Uh, today's video is going to be what I refer to as potpourri, which is just uh, cleaning out the random clips on my iPad. Um, if there's a common thread, it's my everyday life as a retiree in Mexico. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Normally, my gardener takes the garbage out to the street, but every once in a while, it falls to me. But I'm retired. I got nothing to do but figure these things out. Let me show you how I do it. I made orange chicken for dinner, pretty easy. Some uh, a fresh orange, the juice, some zest, garlic, rice wine, a little soy sauce, cornstarch, Google it. White rice with sweet chili sauce. Juan's working on some more salitre in the uh, ceiling of the TV room. The joke with good Mexican friends is always that they're not going to do too good a job because uh, if it lasts more than a year, then you're not going to have a job to come back and do it in a year. I guess it's like the Mexican version of planned obsolescence. Um, actually, he does the best job of anybody I've ever had working for me. Since this stained glass piece was in that photograph, I decided to just show it to you up close. And if you've watched my videos for a while, you've probably seen these before. But I did this, I drew it, and I did the stained glass. And the title of my piece is Leaving Olympus. I'm not a good enough artist to draw the wondrous place that the Greek gods must have lived on Mount Olympus. I can only show you the last arch as you're leaving that wonderful place. So... Use your imagination for what's behind us. This is another piece that I did way back when we were boaters. So it has a nautical theme. The anchor, the compass rose, the horizon with the sailboat. Lynn and I did this pelican together many years ago long before we moved to Mexico. And when we had this living room built, we had that window built for this pelican. The other stained glasses are just hanging. This one is actually built into the window. My neighbor has decided to take the sledgehammer into her own hands just to see how it's gonna work. <laughs> Harder than it looks, huh? <laughs> nice day at the lake got some new steps here uh, Danny the welder finished these uh, just a few days ago and Juan and I 
has been building some up here. We're going to make some more over here to get up into the tower. This is uh, 20 feet off of the ground and up here at the top of the tower it's actually it's 26 feet to the ground. My solar panels for heating the pool, I haven't hooked them back up since we redid the roof over here. This is my rooftop patio, which someday I'll develop into a place to, to be rather than just to store stuff. They call these rooftop patios miradors. One of the cactuses is in bloom down there. The birds and the cicadas are taking care of the background music here. Let's see what the temperature is today. It says it's 81, 82. Feels just about perfect if you're in the shade. Nice breeze. Sometimes reading your Kindle can really wear you out. Uh, the other caption would be, hey, those things are a lot easier to read if you open them up. Last year he stole a penny. This year he's going for five pesos. You're kind of mad, are you? Because he gets too heavy for you to carry? Here, let me give you something smaller. There you go. Can you handle a peso? Yeah, but you're not going to take off with it? Go ahead, move around a little. This year, you, oh, you can handle a peso. Uh-huh.
Let go. Let go of my money. Let go of my money. I want my money back. Give me my, thank you. Trying to steal my pesos. Huh? Here, let's see if you can handle 10 pesos. It's gonna be too heavy, it's gonna tip you over. Go ahead, try to move. <laughs> I didn't knock you over. You flipped yourself. Well, we have another guest swimming in the pool today. Hi there. Would you like me to help you get out? Huh? I can do that. Well, you're not very smart. You're not letting me get you. Don't jump out just yet. Don't jump. Oh, I was going to let you go. Down. Adios, Raton. What? Yeah. And the black and white cat was underneath the patio there. And, uh... That black and white one? Pop after the rat. Nope. Went the other direction. Oh. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Jerry. Was that pretty exciting? That was. Last time we had a rat, the cat brought it in the house. Oh. Oh. We didn't talk about the rain. It rained last night. Everything is clean and green. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.